Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's about gets out of the barn with barn fine vehicles. And funny enough, I don't know what the barn fine vehicle is, other than it's something we collected during the barn finds in the game. But for some reason, those vehicles really pop up in this event I think I remember collecting this one but I don't remember collecting the Viper though as I noticed from the uh, leaderboard and the like the starting red thing I'm the only person with this car in the whole race and I'm also one of the only people whose cars is tuned and me trying to be a bit fancy way I missed the corner completely like that doesn't make sense to me why I would want to do that to begin with but it is what it is so now I'm essentially just trying to play catch up with the rest of my team because I'm like, I'm the only person that has a team car and I'm in the middle of the pack. And I was trying to do a drift video um, just before the season started. And my drift cam is still active. And the problem with that is, I don't know why, um, when you try to drive in a regular event like this with that drift cam on it's almost like the the physics of the car um, changes because sometimes when you drift at certain angles like the one I did now it's almost like the car snaps back into position and then the other side is the car has like this loose feeling to it but it could be the camera um, being a bit floaty essentially giving uh, giving that effect even a day I wasn't trying to drift just breaking enough where the back end started sliding a bit it triggers the the drift game but I think it could also be just with my settings for the drift game is sensitive I remember uh, turning it down a bit because I mean you would take a corner with a little bit of slide in it and then you see drift came all over the place so I'm gonna skip it forward because I mean I don't think I catch this guy and I'm still trying to be fancy with my um, drifting as soon as I don't take a race serious anymore I just try drifting but playing that with the AI honestly is something fun I did that with the intention for Galdo to catch up but I noticed here he's down literally on the other side of the track so yeah drift game really does make drifting look nice but it's something that you actually have to try and get and engage with um, like in a drift setting instead of in a what I did now I decided to do <coughs> one of the videos that I always see people giving other players a gap I think it's AI so yeah, 10 second game like, comment, subscribe while we're waiting and I have gone and I'll see you guys with more Forza content because I like making Forza content it is essentially easy but I've been adding voiceovers and I'm gonna stick to the voiceover thing because the voiceover but could be fun so I'll see where that leads to and it took me for 2 seconds to catch up to the back end driver but I also do think uh, 
uh, racing in these lobbies could be a matter of how um, the AI difficulty is set to the other players around me because I do know that if you play the game on very easy the AI will actually wait for you if you stand still and the draft game messed me up completely but at least I passed one other human driver like in this situation me knowing that the draft game is now active and I'm actively triggering that draft makes it's a different makes a big difference instead of um, not trying to pause it and just turn and then it triggers it's a bit it's a bit jarring because you don't necessarily want to actually go into the rush and then shit happens but yeah I was thinking to myself I'm gonna take third and this guy wanted to push me off the bridge fighting with him for third place was quite but it was nice to give them the gap and actually try and see if I can catch up again because I'm I'm the only car that is tuned in the race blue team wins I know people complained about those games progression but this wheel spin, spin thing the game does I honestly think it's something cool because if you start playing the game I think like maybe for 30 minutes to an hour you will have like a decently good car to drive with where is with other games the progression is there but from my perspective I, I don't need the progression anymore I'm just here for the for the content to play the game have fun with the game I honestly don't care if they give me new cars or decent cars to begin with as long as I can have fun with the game yeah.